Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are gonna be going over my lawn care trailer list, trailer list setup for 2023. So starting off, we got the Ramp Rack Sport. I just installed that, I've been using it for about, I'd say about a month now, and it's given me no issues. It did come off the hinges one time, but I believe it was my fault. I think I didn't uh, hook it up right. And so now what I do is I, I threw a carabiner on here to kind of keep it locked up. So even if the hinges are unlocked, uh, it won't come down on me while I'm driving down the road. So it did bend the handles up, scratched up the underside here. I got to put a coating of primer sealer or something like that and uh, seal it up so it doesn't rust. But moving on down, we got the equipment defender racks and the dry wraps installed. And for trimmers, I'm using all steel. For those of you that watch me all the time know that I love running the steel KMA-135Rs. Yes, they're battery operated. I got two of them and they are combi units. So that means they're split shaft. You can throw on a trimmer head. You can throw on an edger. I am running a curved shaft edger and got the Darwin's Grip 6.0, 6.0, I believe, six, and then a 5.0. I like the 5.0s a little better. Uh, but again, equipment defender rack with the combo on it. Really like the equipment defender rack. I'll have everything that you see here in the links down below. So talk about the truck as well. It's a 2020 Ram 1500 and I do la have airbags installed. Now this is crucial if you want to go trailerless. You need to install some airbags. So there's one right there. I'll kind of zoom in as well on it. And then I got one on the other side. So it's the Airlift 5000. And again, I recommend it because if you don't install airbags, depending on what kind of truck you have, you might be squatting a bit. And then when you need to fill it, there's a little nipple here. I have both lines connected to one. And I usually keep it inflated to, I'd say 35 PSI. That's kind of where it's equal. Um, I don't know, I, I measure from the floor from the road to the top of the wheel well uh, on the front side and then I just equal it out while I'm loaded up. So you can re release some of the pressure when you're not loaded, but I just have it pumped up all the time. Anyways, moving on down, I got the equipment defender rack combi attachment rack. So this is specifically for combi and PAS systems, equipmentdefender.com, check them out. And I did, again, everything that uh, all of my locks or combo locks. I hate keys. The less keys, the better. So my blower rack also has a combo and all my racks are equipment defender. Got the steel KM brush attachment. Actually, let me fold this down and I'll get up top. It's a little bit easier so we're not fighting the sun. As I was saying, my first attachment, which this uh, rack holds five attachments at one time. Got the steel bristle brush attachment and I do have the paddles at home. I got an extension, pull extension. And these are my racks. I just have them bungee corded to the, to the rack itself. Or did I say these are my racks? <laughs> these, this is my shovel and rake. I got a pole saw attachment. I have a uh, oscillating hedge trimmer attachment and a steel bed redefiner. Now, I rarely use that one. I don't even know why I have it. I guess just to fill in the rack itself. Got a two and a half gallon gas can holder. Now, some of you might ask, well, why don't you have a five gallon gas can holder? I only run one mower. This is the only one I got. It's the Xmark Staris 36. And what I do is every time I need to run my route, which is pretty small anyways, I just fill it up in the morning and it lasts me quite a bit. I don't have to do it every single morning, but hey, if you're mowing 60 lawns or 15, 20 lawns a day, I would recommend getting a few extra gas can holders and gas cans and mounting them. But this is a trailerless setup, small properties, small business owners uh, usually run this kind of you know trailerless setup. And again, this is just lawn maintenance, so we can run smaller equipment. We don't need any of the bigger stuff and we don't do any hauling. And again, BR700 backpack blower by Steel. I got a trash can with some cones, an Xmark Staris 
Uh, I also have the um, electric uh, green guard on it. That's pretty cool. And then a steel RMA 510V lawnmower. All right, now let me show you what's inside my truck and how I charge my batteries and all that stuff for all of this electric equipment. Oh, and by the way, I am a content creator as well. So this is why you might see some film equipment. I got a Jackery Explorer 1500 and it's charging up a GoPro and a, a battery case. All of my video equipment, I'll have a link up here where you can see all, all of what's in this backpack here. So I got a bunch of video equipment, chargers, different style cases, uh, you know, everything that you need to record videos. I also have this Smart Travelite Pro tripod. And here's my backup uh, power supply. It's the small Boldabat 500. I hardly ever use it, but just in case I keep it in here, um, you know, for, for if I wanna run a separate charger, I can, you know, charge multiple, I have, I have multiple chargers for these batteries. The one I usually run is the AL301. It's charging all of my steel batteries. I have an AP500S and three AP300S batteries. I lost one. These things are so expensive. I would not recommend you start with electric battery commercial equipment. If you're just starting out in your lawn care business, go with gas. I just, just way, way too expensive. But I have a, a BGA 86 and a, uh, a little 12 volt strobe light. Usually I mount this up for winter. Sun hat, you need that when it's super, super hot out. Winter gloves, work gloves, a um, little dust mask, water, always need water. One thing I'm missing, and I know this kind of looks dirty. One thing I'm missing is a pack of water. You always need a pack of water if you're mowing lawns. But I got some extra dry wraps, blower and trimmer. And also dry wraps has different ones. This is for gas motors. See the longer one is for electric uh, trimmers. So electric trim or uh, gas trimmers and electric trimmers, dry wraps sells them for both. Two different sizes. Oh, trash bags, you need a lot of them. I also have a trash can here. If I am doing leaf cleanups, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do in order to get the job done. If you trade list, MSA 200 with the AP100 battery. I rarely ever use this since I just got the Milwaukee M12 little hacksaw, chainsaw, hatchet, whatever you want to call it. And then I also have a steel HSA 25, little small hedge trimmer, some sea foam, a bunch of steel 25 to uh, cutting heads that I keep. I need to restring all of them. I haven't even restringed them. Specicide wasp and hornet killer. That's a must here in the Northwest barn chain oil, again, sea foam, um, some fuel injector cleaner, some straps, Velcro straps, PS, I think this is a PS30, little hacksaw pruner, and then the PS80, and uh, the extra head trimmer attachment for, um, for my HSA 25. And then I always, you always need to have some extra hedge, or um, <laughs> edger blades when you're doing overgrown edges. Uh, I think these are the P, P80, uh, little hand pruners, a steel multi-tool. You got the Milwaukee scissors and some other tools. So that all stays in one bag. Oh, and extra gloves. You always need gloves. Extra battery, AP300. This is my very first battery that I acquired. These are how they used to look like, and they now look like that. I got some um, pull starter rope. You always need that. String trimmer line, a tire inflator. This is a must. Uh, sometimes you don't notice your equipment might have some flats and it's nice to inflate the tires when you need to uh, instead of having to go and find a gas station. Extra, I like the uh, Nemesis uh, shades. These are pretty cheap. You can get them on Amazon for like 10 or $15. Marketing material, more string trimmer line and a dust mask 3M and straps that I have hooked up to my headrest hat, my blower cover for my BR700 and another hat. So that's about it. I think I have a little bit more under there. Let me see if I can get that on film. Probably won't be able to since the stuff's so heavy, but I have um, hand cleaner, you know, the wipes and then some um, emergency pull rope. Usually this is for the winter time, but it's like a 50, 50 foot 
a multi-hook pull-out rope. And then also, since I am still running a backpack blower and I have a KM131 at home, I need two-stroke oil. So two-stroke oil, keep it in the truck. When you run out of gas, you can go to the gas station and quickly get your mix going. So it's a 50 to one with the steel ultra HP two cycle oil. So that's about it. Oh, one more thing I didn't mention is this charger is actually hooked up to a power inverter that's built into the truck. It's got a maximum of I think three or 400 watts and this out this outputs like 300, 370. Um, so it's just maxing it out. And I can only use this charger. I can't, I have an additional plug up front. And if I try to run like a AL300 charger, then it doesn't work. So I can only one run one charger uh, with my you know, power inverter that's built into a truck. And then I can run an additional charger if I need to with my portable power inverter. So that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions at all, pre please feel free to reach out to me. Ask if you got any questions about any of my setup, any of the equipment, tools that I have, please, I'll answer them in the comments down below. Thank you again so much. Take care. God bless you. We'll see you in the next one. And uh, let me know what other videos you'd like to see. If you'd like me to review any of the tools specifically, let me know. Like if you want to see more of the battery string trimmer or the edger or the blower or my mower setup, please let me know in the comments down below. Highly appreciate it. Thank you again. Have a wonderful day.